Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where without further ado, we're going to hop right back in and see what adventures this episode has for us. Can I trade with you? Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Why does he... he keeps popping up as like a... As... Is Gale okay? Arcane hunger? What is going on with Gale? Go ahead. I'm listening. Why? Yeah, you look unwell. Uh, awkward. Okay. Nothing a bit of magic can't see, solve. I have okay. this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. So I need to, I'm wondering if I need to bring him out because if he doesn't use magic, he gets sick? What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some Does it have something to do with this? What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful oh. magical item and absorb the weave inside. Um, your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of everybody. Importance. Everybody keeps saying that. Since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted time and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture everybody keeps telling me trust me trust me I'm like I don't know any of you all from Adam uh, I mean I kind of want to be suspicious but like I'm, I'm a nice paladin so I'm not going to be I mean, not an idiot, but... I don't want to be mean. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. Well, why don't you get them yourself? Why is he being angry at me? Why is he angry at me? There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. I just... I... Fine, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What is it? What will happen? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Well, I need you to explain. Well, what does he want? Oh, one of these? No, I like that one. You can have this one, though. Yeah, you can have this one. Thank you. Okay. He's not just artifact hunting. Ooh, it glowed. <gasps> oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical. Demon, I was like a real <laughs> <to> point out <laughs> a real one. It's dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all. Why monsters. didn't he get some? Why is he sitting here waiting for me to get stuff when he could have been out doing stuff on his own? Why do I have to do everything? Um. Perhaps now he'll tell me what this is an aid of. 
grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I'm such a sucker for the clever ones. Condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Okay. All right, Will. Gale slurped that thing up like a oh. horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Oh, what do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter, we can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the devil? Uh... Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. It's true, it never turns out. No worry, I have no interest in the devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. I know that these people aren't like well these people are like we have a cure for you I'm like no you don't like I don't see I don't want to go through with any of them because they don't they're not gonna pan out you know at the ready Gail is positively voracious well let him suck up all the magic he needs as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Well, keep yours away. Are you sure a crush is our only path? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crush contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Mm. That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. That surprises me. Chuck, you believe you can survive without I me? I want a nice squad. As you say, do not keep me waiting. And I don't think I'm gonna run into the gith at any... at this rate. Actually, let's bring Asterion. Maybe. I've known people who are hungry for power, uh. but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. Ask him. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. I kind of want to, I just want to kind of kick him in the teeth, honestly. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Yay, finally. Let's see what he can do. I have need of a rogue, I think.
I think he's the only one. Okay, except... Ooh, nice. Arcane Trickster, if that makes sense. Blah. We have... Clever Touch of Magic. Okay. Mm -mm, mage Hand. Lego Demain. The spectral hand is invisible and can carry out additional tasks. Cool. Oh. He's a this arcane trickster boy, I don't know. Ray of Frost, maybe? I don't know. Charm person is definitely one that he would want. Do we have a feather ball? I know somebody does. Ray of Sickness, gross. I feel like he would have expeditious retreat. Oh, Featherfall. I swear he gave somebody else Featherfall. But we will... Have it just in case. <gasps> oh, I got my stuff! This is the DLC stuff. This is the Fane mask, the shapeshifter mask. Well, that's good to know. I do, I want to sell the things I have, though. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. <laughs> um, oh, want to talk about your shower worship? I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. I have no problem with Sh uh You should know. I don't know. I think Shar is not nice. So you should trust me. We're in the same... Everybody keeps telling me to trust them. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. Yeah, trust me. Dang it. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her. I assume. Um. Remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. Oh, oh, sure. Mm-hmm. How exactly do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down uh -huh. the lies <coughs> the is drunk on. The institutions they trust. The so-called gods they worship. The lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. So you're There's just often suffering, little dictators. Death, even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. I just... I'm a pa I was gonna say, uh, I usually try to go with like, I don't cast judgment. I'm a paladin. Like, I have a different belief system than her. Like, and also, um, freaking... From what little I know, Shar is quite evil. Like, the high priestess of Shar is not a nice person. And like, she's like, they're so-called gods. I'm like, you're so-called god. Like, what makes your god any better than any of the others? They all have different domains. Sometimes they overlap a little. But like, she's like, we fight heretics. I'm like, so anybody that isn't a Shar worshiper? Like, you know? Like, I don't want her necessarily to be angry at me, but like, 
She's out there, we're toppling corrupt organizations. What makes them corrupt in your eyes? You know, are they being cruel to people? Because apparently your goddess loves cruelty. So like, and like, why would you force your religion on others? You know, just be chill. But they're not chill, apparently. They're psychos. <sighs> Sounds evil. Well, if that troubles you, perhaps you should fetch the bailiff to arrest me. Ah, but there's no bailiff here, is there? Just leagues of wilderness and the dangers lurking within. We're in this together. But I'll happily go it alone. My faith will keep me company. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great company. Uh, I mean, she disapproves, but like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be all like touchy feely about an evil religion. <laughs> the artifact seems protect protecting us. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it, and I'll guard it with my life. We keep repeating certain conversations where I'm like, yes, I know, but like, I feel like I have to click on them. I'm curious that you just happen to have an item. That's a good point. That can protect us. How did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. And they didn't take it from you? That's all I need to know. Oh, she's going out with like blind faith here. Yeah. Adm admirable conviction, though I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. How can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories. Your memories of what? For the sake of the Like mission. all your memories of your past life? Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Like, I don't, like, was it the memories of the mission? Because she refuses to tell me what happened on the mission. But it doesn't make any sense for her memories of the mission to be removed. Because she hadn't gone on it yet when she was in Baldur's Gate. Like, and she has to have some memory, otherwise she wouldn't know what the artifact is or where to bring it back to. And like, how does she even remember her convictions if like she doesn't, then the other option, right? Is it like, if she's lost all of her memories or had all of her memories of her past life suppressed except for the ones about this mission, like, how does she remember her convictions? Why is her face doing that? Why, and I'm not, I wasn't even looking, but now I am. Why is her face doing that? Hang on, I gotta get a video of this. I wanna get to know you more. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Uh, what drew you to Shah worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. What are those? <laughs> hey, okay, I gotta look this up. Yeah. <coughs> Saloon is a neutral or a chaotic good deity. Whereas, um, Char is a neutral evil, evil deity. Okay, tell me something about yourself besides Char, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Yeah. Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It is. That's adorable, actually. Really, you've flown between planes of existence, but you've never been... No, let's go. You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever... Oh, no, I'm a nature person. I would know that. You've never been swimming? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. I was just teasing. No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself either. Okay. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, 
Then my memories will be restored. Okay. That does seem extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shall will reward me when I succeed. The inside of her mouth is glowing. Uh, bye. Oh! This guy. We meet again. As predicted. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. You are at my camp. I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever thou hast need of my service. I was not expecting him to show up in my house. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Focus on the ooh a paladin wisdom check. Focus on the divine energy you feel from his presence. He's got divine energy. Interesting. Oh, it's a twenty. Not gonna happen. That wasn't a bad roll. Yes, I get it. I get it. No. There is a great divine energy indeed, but the source is unclear. You were sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and? For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Um. So I can have summons? That would be nice. Will these hirelings join me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Can I trust them? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. That wasn't the question I asked. I didn't ask if I could trust you, I asked if I could trust them. Any other ways? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. When I mentioned to my friend that my companions and I had died, they did mention that Withers was supposed to be able to bring them back somehow. And I was like, like, do I have to go find him? But they didn't answer. <laughs> and apparently he just shows up at your camp. <laughs> Which I, I did not expect to see like a lich guy in my camp. And look very ugly doing it. That's not nice. That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. I wonder if he's that dead god. I wonder if he's that god that was the god of that shrine. But is now, um... Now they're kind of dead. What's the cost? You can help me change my class for a hundred coin? That's good to know. A matter... Of coin. Two hundred coin is a lot of money. Um, as outrageous. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. Well, that's not how it always is. It's currently the path I'm heading on. I want to ask. Well, I guess if you don't have that gold, you don't get the thing. Okay, that's fine. For a prize. All right. Well, good to know. We camped in such a nice, lovely spot. Look at this little awning we have. Like we're welcoming guests. Here we go. I want to take a nap. Hang on, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. Let's see if we can't convince Lazal to not 
kill us this time. I don't want a deceiver that does have a plus two. Oh, so does the persuasion. Well, let's try to persuade her again. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Just barely. I cannot trust my own mind. <laughs> they all approve. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Well, let's hope we can sleep. He's laying there. He's, he's not actually sleeping, right? I don't think actually even the drow need to actually sleep, too. <gasps> Hello? This is my guardian, I bet. How much you're on a bet? Why we, Why didn't you save me when Lizelle freaking- I can freaking... just in time. You are transforming. Yeah, you should have done something earlier. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> um, dream visitor, I came just. This is fu okay, good because freaking this was a pain. Why weren't you there when Lazelle freaking stabbed me to death, Guardian? I forgot about you. Ah, I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. She's gorgeous. I did a good job. Why did you have to save me like and I'm that? I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Why? And how? And who are you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Fine. I have Sleepy here. We haven't much time, so listen closely. I am so attractive. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. What? Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Excuse me? Nurture it. No. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Why? She's got psionic powers. How can I trust psionic powers at this point? A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace Who? your potential. Who is we? I think she just took a form. Like, this is probably her natural form. That. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. And she took this form that I technically gave her, I guess. And to me, I figured a drow would be comforting to another drow when I made her. As a guardian. Awake now. You'll feel better. I promise. I did hear a rumor though that you can potentially romance your guardian at some point. Um and so for one of my other characters that I made, I actually went back and remade them so I could make a soulless look-alike guardian. <laughs> That was for my self-insert character. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But um, the dog's here. I was gonna. I was looking for him earlier. That's why I went around, and then I totally spaced it. Puppy. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry, Scratch. Hang on. Pet. I'll pet you though. 
I have to I have to put my speaking back on. Oh my gosh, look how happy I am. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, pup. Let me cast. Let me talk to you. Hope you're keeping well, friend. It's so good to see you. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. I give him a pet. Do I just get to have a dog at camp? I'm gonna cry. This is actually like really, really... I don't know. I have a very soft spot for dogs. I'm glad that we can like keep him and like give him a home. Apparently Volo wants to talk again. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. Uh huh. I'll just make my. You do. I don't trust anything you have to do to me. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique Will. that seems quite actionable. Will help me. What have I it's done? It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic after all. Please don't poke my eye. Uh, how, how many times have you done this before? I'm sure you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Well, you should help me. Okay, fine, do Vola it. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertain Wrong. with the needle. Wrong eye. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. He's gonna lobotomize me. Lolo frowns and begins to push. Clench your fizz. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I can always heal myself. I think I have it. The needle seesaws back and forth, I would... plucking the nerve like a harp string. I don't think this would work. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. The obstacle is my eyes, stop it once. Uh, I want to see if this goes. Vola carefully withdraws the needle. Absolutely from your eye. not. Then reaching into his bag, no. he produces an ice pick. <laughs> I want to see where this goes. Vola slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. I want to see where this now. goes. Don't move. <laughs> Cold metal presses against oh, the skin beneath oh, no. your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. I Do you feel he... that? Huh. I think we have the blighter on I around. think he just killed me. Uh... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I agree. It's a feisty creature. Oh, no. Just... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. From your brain with a violent jerk, <laughs> your eye plops down into the mud. Oh, he pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. He <laughs> He lobotomized me. Oh my gosh. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Uh, you, uh, knocked my bloody eye out. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Uh, perhaps there is something more I can do. Uh, is that a fake eyeball? Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, <laughs> it was 
Very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. At least he didn't look bottom. I can see invisibility. I. Okay. Where, where? Does it look like my. Oh my gosh, now Will and I match! I can see invisibility. Creatures must succeed a dexterity save. That might actually be worth losing the eye, honestly. Can I see oh, myself? I want to see myself. Oh. Character, no. Is there a way to like see myself close up? These things have stayed interesting. No, These things have stayed. Li you just about got lobotomized. You lost your eye. You had a man who had no business poking around in your ocular socket. Poke around with an ice pick. I'm yelling at her like it's her fault. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought he was gonna. I mean, lobotomy is like. Slightly different, honestly. I don't. I mean, you can well, you can kill somebody through their eye, but I don't really think you can. You could genuinely get lobotomized through your nose. Um, but still, when I started like being unable to talk, I was like, I was like, he lobotomized me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I went through with that. Maybe it was like a moment of weakness, right? Where she was like, she didn't want to trust any deep deals with the devil, so she went with like a scholar guy who had no business poking around in her eye. Oh my gosh, I want to see myself up close, but I don't know how to do that when it's not the level up screen. Dang it, I want to... Oh, 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 oh! Look at that! It is different. Honestly, I don't... A part of me is like, uh, I like my eyes. I liked them the way they were. But now that scar is legit. <laughs> now it's super legit. And I can see invisibility. Mm. And it looks like we'll be leveling up soon. I think I'll... I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. Even though it messes up my aesthetic a bit. But I match Will. How exciting. Oh my gosh. This is too funny. Oh my gosh. I just noticed that Asterion has a mirror back there. What a nerd. Anyway. I guess I will call this one here. <laughs> This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people. So I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron. And thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.